Let's take a look at the first IE10 platform preview and new support for standards like CSS3 gradients, multi-column, flexible box, and grid layouts, along with ECMAScript 5 strict mode. In the IE10 platform preview, we added support for CSS3 gradient backgrounds. With CSS3 gradients, you can use standard markup to achieve visual effects you could only get with images using professional graphics tools. In this demo, you can make different kinds of gradient backgrounds. You can experiment creating linear, circular, and elliptical gradients. Below you can see the CSS3 markup for the gradient for IE10 and other browsers. IE10 and Firefox use the same markup as the current W3C spec, while WebKit browsers like Chrome and Safari require different markup. Here in IE10 Platform Preview, we show how CSS3 multi-column layout is used to show the top tweets streaming in from Twitter. I'll add some tweets. As the top tweets come in, you'll see them flow across the columns. I can change the number of columns and the tweets reflow. This kind of layout is difficult to do on the web today. With CSS3 multi-column layout, it is as easy as applying CSS styles without restructuring the page content or writing a lot of JavaScript. Let's look at this in another browser. Here we have the same demo running the same markup in Firefox 4. You'll see that as the tweets come in and flow across columns, that some of them are clipped and cut off so that the same markup isn't delivering quite the same results. Let's look at one more example. With the i10 platform preview, we show how fully hardware accelerated graphics and fast JavaScript can be used to create lifelike experiences that feel like native applications. Here I have 250 fish swimming at a nice, steady, high frame rate. Let's look at how the scene is composed. We have high definition HTML5 video for the water, and we use canvas to frame and shape the fishbowl. We had canvas composition effects for the visuals of the glass bowl, including the shine, the front of the tank, and the shadow. And we have HTML5 audio for the sound. And of course, we have the fish swimming. Let's try this in another browser. Here in Chrome 11, you have the same demo running the same markup. I'll add that same 250 fish. You can see the animation and rendering is slower, and I'm only getting uh, about seven frames per second. That's the difference between full and partial hardware acceleration in the browser. Let's look at it again in the i10 platform preview. This time I'll add 500 fish. And again, nice steady uh, frame rate and high frames per second. So these are just a few examples of the first IE10 platform preview in action. Download the preview today and you'll see for yourself what happens when HTML5 can tap into the power of the whole PC at ietestdrive.com.